Why, hello there, friends, family, and everybody in between. Welcome to another round of Modern. On the left, we have Alex Feargang playing Elves, and on the right, we have Joshua Floro playing Raptor Scam. It hasn't littered in yet, because I wasn't too sure what he was playing, but that's okay. We can take a little pizza doodle with the hands there. Uh, we see Josh Sam looks pretty good. Uh, usually, we start the video at first landfall, but you'll understand why we started a little bit early with this one. We have a Blood Crypt shocking down to 18 here. I see a Thoughtseize there getting pitched to an Evoked Grief. And Alex going to take a look at his hand. Go to Quick Shuffle. And we'll just concede. Uh, and go on to game two. Now, folks, you might be curious as to why Alex conceded immediately to Grief. Uh, at least uh, to the Evoke Grief. He said that uh, he knows his deck in game one cannot beat Scam. So why waste the time trying to do it? He knows he needs sideboard cards to do so. So let's just go get those sideboard cards, put them in the deck, and then let's get on to trying to beat Scam. And here we are. Game two. Alex on the play. Leading with a Forest into an Elvish Mystic. We saw Josh resolve a mulligan there, so we should be on six cards. See a not dead after all. Brand new card from the Wild of Eldraine. I guess I can't say brand new. Wilds is actually like about a month old now. We're coming up on Caves of Ixalan. Caverns of Ixalan. Crawl Spaces of Ixalan. Alright, here goes a, bl uh, not a Blood Crypt, it is the Fast Land that is escaping my brain right now. I'm going to evoke a Fury here. Well, not dead after all the Fury. <coughs> Bring it back and attach a Wicked Roll token to it. I'm not going to lie to you, I don't know what the tokens do off the top of my head, so I'm going to look that up while we watch uh, some things. Can I just Google Wicked Roll token? Oh, I can. Uh, it does give him the wicked roll, right? The Chandy Creed looks fucking pretty cool. Okay. Sure. Alright, Fury cracks in. Gonna block the El with the Elvish Mystic that we played last turn. Has a Heritage Druid in play. Gosh, going to fetch here with a Bloodstained Mire. I'm still trying to think of what the Rakdos Fastlane does. I can't think of the name for the life of me. I can think of the Demir one. <laughs> I cannot think of the name of that card for some reason. Alright, Josh gets a Blood Crypt, shocks it down to 17. Two mana cast a Orcish Bowmasters, tags to Heritage Druid, will make a 1 1. Will fetch and uh, well, well, we'll probably just get the forest. We'll crack fetch though. We have our one white source for shenanery reasons. Probably don't need a second one. Two mana, Elvish Warmaster. One mana Heritage Druid. Let's trigger the Warmaster to make a token. We'll three mana cast a Elvish Arch Druid. We'll say go. Josh is going to terminate the Archer. So you can't know. You don't get to have that much mana. As well as that Elf Lord on the board, too. Here's the second one. Alright, pretty good. Gets another token out of the exchange. Does opt for some attacks here. Gets in for some damage, says go. Does have the token to block the Fury. The Bowmaster and the army token, not really relevant here. It's also just like not a good attack for Josh here, because uh, he's 
probably dead. <laughs> if he does attack. Alex does seem to be hellbent though, so we're basically just playing off the top of the deck. A realm walker would be huge. Huge game here for Alex. Josh passed. Alex drew and said go. Draws and says go. Plays another Arch Druid. Gets another token. But folks, we have a game. I think the only thing that would suck here is like if uh, Josh can evoke a fury or kill, have his fury die and bring back. Because I'm pretty sure fury still tags both arch druids. There should be two twos now. Pretty sure it's a one one. Right. How's oh, it two two? They're three threes now. Okay. Can no longer tag them. Tag one of them. There's a fable, the mirror breaker. I'm gonna make a goblin shaman token. Uh, that it is on the first chapter ability. Forgot to mention to use the big dose. Uh, I'm gonna jam in with the tokens here. Does need to block them if I'm correct. I need to. How much is the Warmaster pump by? I don't know. Warmaster got a reprint. Lord of the Rings. Commander deck. Yeah, Warmaster makes some plus two plus two. So. Five, six, seven. I do three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, each Warmaster or each Archer does an activation of Warmaster. Fable going to the chapter number two because they discard up to two cards and draw that many. Black Cleave Clips, that's the name of the card. <laughs> there we go, holy shit. God, I. Oof. <laughs> Jesus. For as long as like Scam has been a deck and we, I've been commentating Scam on camera. I was like, I should not, not know what this card does. Hell, the deck won a Pro Tour. I watched Kick Beardsley play. I think I watched all of those game rounds. Right, end step, we'll flash into Endurance. We'll shuffle back Josh's graveyard. It does give Alex another attacker, I think, no matter what. Right, there's a War Master off the top. And jamming in attacks, just throwing everybody up. Okay, not everybody. Looks like we're throwing the three tokens in the endurance. Two, two five. Still has seven elves on the board, so we'll make 14 mana, and we'll be able to double pump with War Master. There's a reason to not throw the heritage druid there.
Oh, yes. Yeah, sorry. We're doing some combat math, but I think 9 is actually sneaking through. Because of the endurance. Cool, and that will be game two going to Alex. We'll be right back for game three in just a second, folks, where Josh will be on the play. All right, here we go. Got my get resolved. Josh, ooh, we have a ley line starting in play. Ley line of vitality. This is the one, uh, the name might be wrong, but the effect isn't. Uh, <laughs> your creatures get plus O, plus one, and then whenever you play a creature, you may gain one life. All right, Josh leads any verdant catacombs. Now we know what happened last time that Joshua was able to start on the play. Fetches and shocks are in a blood crypt. Do we have the grief scam? Do we have the probable best turn one in modern right now? I think the only thing that might be better is like the infinitesimal chance that Titan uh, kills you turn one going second with the gemstone caverns. The hand that needs very <laughs> specific things to happen, but Titan can technically do it. There's your puzzle of the week, folks. What combination of cards do you need? Right, so we just thought seized, took a card, no grief, no scam. Just normal Rakdos things. Now he's going to fetch. Play an Elvish Mystic. I'm curious if he shocked you. Do we see the Temple Garden come out? Nope, just a basic forest. Playing around the potential Blood Moon. Makes sense. He's on the draw. While you have a ton of dorks, you uh, can't risk them dying. Pre-Blood Moon. We'll stomp the Mystic. See a Horizon Canopy in Alex's hand. Plays it, says Goop. Might be opting here to draw the, with the uh, Canopy instead of playing out the creature. We have a Dolphy Voidwalker. In response. Uh, oh, not doing it in response, just doing it. We'll sack the Canopy to draw a card. Off the turn. See, a Kyrian Ranger was one of the draws. Misty getting uh, fetched away here. We'll go in the Dothy pile. I think they catch that in just a second. Overgrown Tomb. Speaking of land, we shock you. Plays a Ranger who will gain a life. Blazing Mystic will gain another life. Going back to the 19. Crax in for 3 with the Shadow Creature. Cannot be blocked. Unless by another creature with Shadow. Notably also cannot block. Unless it's blocking a creature with Shadow. Ranger getting terminated. Cracks in for a point of damage. Uh, we'll fetch Cracks here and plays out a Realm Walker naming Elf. We'll be able to look at the top card of the deck at any time and can cast Elf creature cards off the top of the deck. Fairly confident it's just creatures. Uh, it might be Elf spells, but 
not a thing I ever really thought about until now, so, you know. But this could be the beginning of an advantage engine for Alex. Armalker very good at getting the ball rolling. Right, cracks it for three. Alex goes to 13. Will terminate the run walker. <laughs> One point. Here's a Druid. Gains leg goes to 14. Josh is going to fetch that Bloodstained Mire. It's a basic swamp here. Getting fatal pushed here. Cracks it for three. Alex goes to 11. Cassidy Bone Crusher Giant from the adventure. Cavern play ley line. Okay. So now every time Alex casts a creature, he's going to gain two life if he wants to. Cracks in for six. Going to put Alex to five. Table the mirror breaker here. We'll make a token that says go. Alex draws, and that will be the match, folks. Josh will take it 2 1 with Rakdos Game over Elves. Thank you for watching, and have a great rest of your day.